Welcome everyone to a quick tournament update for the top PC war games. Let's go through the uh, round one winners. Round two is currently in progress. It has, at the time of this recording, 13 hours left. That'll finish Saturday at 12 p.m. noontime Pacific. So that's 3 p.m. Eastern time, which means that if you haven't already voted for in round two in the round of 16, get your butts over to the website, which I'll be posting in the comment section and pinning that top comment. Um, yeah, make sure to vote, and then you just gotta wait an hour or two, or hey, if you do it around 11.45 or something, you wait just a couple more minutes, and then you vote in round three. And that's why this video will be going up. I'm gonna treat this as both the round two and the round three video. And I'll probably do the same thing for the semifinal when it's close to finishing with the semifinal. I'll just announce it so that, you know, I just do one video for two rounds. Otherwise, it'll be, I think, a little bit too much spam. Okay, so um, right now we have the winners from round one, and uh, the, the tree has progressed. The brackets have narrowed down, and let's just go through these one at a time, and I'll comment, and it'll be fun, because this is the exciting part of a tournament. We only had one upset, by the way, and I was a little disappointed in the upset, but that's fine. This is the heartbreak city of March Madness tournaments. Hearts Firen, an overwhelming victory over Victory at Sea, which... You know what, it's not too surprising, and not only is it not too surprising, I think it's justified. Victory at Sea does, at least last I played it, still have a lot of bugs. Victory at Sea Pacific, at least. So, um, it's a good game, but it's just, I mean, this is representative of Hearts of Iron 2, 3, and 4. Probably two of the three of those, I mean, 2 and 3, are like some of my top favorite war games of all time. So, Advanced Tactics Gold, actually one of the other top favorite war games of mine of all time. Um, also a winner over Steel Panthers, but a pretty tight fought 68 to 53 victory here. Um, it's probably going to be decimated against the Juggernaut, which is Hearts of Iron, but you know, I'm holding out hope. I think I actually voted for Advanced Tactics Gold because I, I know it's going to get creamed. Anyway, uh, Armored Brigade defeated Flashpoint Campaign's Red Storm, um, pretty handily, 70 to 41, um, 30 point victory. Uh, close combat overcame Harpoon. Not too surprising. I think a little bit Harpoon's a little bit less known, and I honestly think the most recent, I mean the Command Modern Operations is much more votable as the best game, uh, best war game or top PC war game. So close combat, great series. You know, not a whole lot of games exactly like close combat, and it, it moved on. War in the Pacific, Gary Grigsby's title. Um, defeated soundly decisive campaigns 94 to 35 one of the bigger upsets um, it's going to put it up against a tough matchup in round two at least this was a tough one for me to vote for I had to think about it for a while it was the only one that I didn't immediately know which one I wanted to vote for we have Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific versus Ultimate Admiral as a series now somebody had a good point I'm just going to relay it you've mentioned before there's been comments before that i'm injecting too much bias well why are you watching the <laughs> why are you watching this stop this video and go vote first then you can listen to my bias but ultimate admiral doesn't even have the campaign for the dreadnoughts and the age of sail is not really complete either those are pretty fair comments and that's why i voted for supreme ruler ultimate uh, which still ultimately lost to ultimate admiral but that's fine Combat Mission overcame Command Ops 2. These are both great games, and I think that if I go over to the tournament bracket just to check, I think that um, these were, yeah, it was a 13 seed versus a 20 seed. So you know what? These were, Command Combat Missions was supposed to win by a bigger margin, that's for sure. And I think that that's testament to how good of a game Command Ops 2 is. The people came to their senses, and they realized it's a really good game. By the way, Command Ops 2, just in case you haven't heard of it, is the demo version is available for free on Steam, so you can check that out. Ultimate General, soundly defeated Gravity Team Tactics, 93-39. to Rule the Waves overcame Commander the Great War. Not too surprising there. Commander the Great War, in my opinion, is just nowhere near the first best World War I game of all time with the strategic... Um, I guess it would have been for a little while. I was always wondering what is the best game um, to play for World War I, uh, Supreme Ruler has the Great War, or a Great War variation. There's the Great War, um, which is making modern history, or making history, I should say. Anyways, Roll the Waves, great war game. You, know, you just don't find a game like Roll the Waves 
very often. It's one of those extremely detailed, um, historically minded board games. You get to play with Dreadnoughts. It's pretty cool. So Field of Glory defeated Pike and Shot. I disagree with that. I was a. It's not too big of a deal because their Field of Glory now has to go up against Rule the Waves. And considering this is based in my channel, I don't. I think Rule the Waves is probably going to roll on through. Um, Operational Art of War soundly defeated Vietnam 65 and Afghanistan 11, 70 to 43. And that's going to put it up with, I think this is going to be a really tough battle. Operational Art of War was going to be going up against Strategic Command as a series, which overcame uh, Civil War II. Let's go down here and look at that. So, yeah, we have an 11 and 6 seed. These are pretty close, pretty tight matchups. Um... I think that's going to be a tough one. I, I I would vote for, I mean, I would give the edge to Strategic Command. Um, Operational Art of War has some kind of flukes to it, but I think Strategic Command, you can pick several from several games there, and um, at least the World War I version is, is, pretty, is fairly polished. So Command Modern Operations uh, defeated Sid Meier's Gettysburg and Antietam, much to the historical gamer's chagrin <laughs> so that'll put it up against panzer general which um, beat out axis and allies um, actually panzer general got more votes than command modern operations so that's interesting it that's going to be a tough that's supposed to be a tough battle as well a seven and ten so we'll see how that goes and panzer general wait no no, no. seven ten yeah 17 that's it that, that's correct so um now the one big defeat the one that I was a little bit surprised by, actually very surprised by, was Unity of Command being defeated by Panzer Corps. I think that Unity of... I was hoping, at least, that Unity of Command could give War in the East a run for its money just to make things exciting, because otherwise I think War in the East is going to roll on through, probably until it faces the Rule the Waves. That's my guess. So if I had to dictate my bracket, I have Rule the Waves going through, and then uh, beating Field of Glory, then beating... Um, probably de beating Strategic Command, and then I imagine losing to Gary Grigsby's War in the East. Just just playing the, this is just the numbers, the seeds, as it is. Um, I had originally Command Modern Operations getting through, but now seeing how well Panzer General did against Axis and Allies, and the, they had more overall votes too than Command Modern Operations, so that that's the reason, like, the margin of victory is actually probably a little bit less important than the raw number that you voted, you know, the number of votes you received. So, anyway, we're down to uh, round of 16, and uh, by noon tomorrow, or I think by the time this video airs, it'll be by noon today, for at least a lot of people, or, you know, whatever. This is the end of the round. It's happening very soon, and then we'll have, we'll see what the new matchups are and we'll be able to vote on those and we're getting closer round of eight starts tomorrow semifinals starts monday and finals will be determined before next saturday so until then until the the next video on this thanks for watching hope you're enjoying this tournament i still am until the next one take care